This is part two of my tutorial on how to use the Intensity Capture Cards. This is going to be the part for the Intensity Pro, which is what most of you are probably going to be using. The only requirement this needs is an open PCI Express slot inside your computer, and that means you're going to have to open up your computer. Yes, you're going to have to open up your case and look inside, and you're going to have to lose your computer opening virginity, which in my last tutorial video a lot of you seem to have. So when you get the Intensity Pro, the box will come with the Intensity Pro itself and the breaker cable, and this just splits out into a bunch of component cable connections, and of course the CD for installations and drivers, but I would not recommend using those. I would recommend using the ones from the website, just because they are up to date. Now for system, for computer requirements, if you can run modern games like Crisis or Bad Company 2 on medium or high, uh, you should be good to be able to run these cards. And another thing I forgot to say in the shuttle video is hard drive space. You're going to want a lot of it. So anyway, if you watch the shuttle video, then it'll be pretty much exactly the same. Your Xbox HDMI cable will go into the input, and another HDMI cable will go into the output. If you're using the PlayStation 3 or the Wii, you have to use this breaker cable. And I'm going to explain that really quick. That's because the Wii doesn't have HDMI to begin with. And the cable for, I mean, the HDMI signal for the PlayStation 3 is HDCP, which this card cannot and will not detect, forcing you to use components. That's really not all that complicated. But you will want to plug in the cables to this card after you put it into your computer, which I will show you in a second. So, if you're using the Xbox, as I said, the Xbox, the cable from your Xbox goes into the input, and I don't know which one of these is the input. You'll have to figure that out on your own. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't label it. And then a separate HDMI cable will go into the output and then into your TV. For component, same thing. You will have to fish out the cables that say input. They're all labeled. This one says audio in right, so that'll be for the red audio cable. And that's a black one that I really don't know what it does. Uh, <laughs> here's the blue input for the video. And there's the green output and that's for component output if you want to use component outputs. But you just fish out all the inputs and plug in your PlayStation 3 component cables or your Wii component cables into the inputs in this cable. For the output, for the PlayStation and the Wii, you can use HDMI. And just to clear something up if you get confused with that, the inputs do matter depending on the console you're using, the outputs do not matter. So to say it again, for the Xbox 360, you can use HDMI or Component for the inputs. For the PlayStation 3, you have to use Component. For the Wii, you have to use Component. The outputs do not matter. And what was I going to say? Anyway, so for the next part, it's going to be putting in this into your computer. And I'm going to take my camera off of the stand just to make it a little bit easier. And from this point on, I can say any damage done to your computer due to stupidity is not my fault. And there is, uh, that's just a disclaimer thing that I kind of want to say so I don't get sued. And I doubt any of you fine YouTubers would sue me, but you never know. So first, the first thing to do is to unplug your computer completely. And first, obviously, uh, obviously you'll want to locate the side panel of it and generally it's to the left of the front so this is the front of my computer and I'm gonna go over here to the left that's my side panel and mine happens to have a window majority of you probably will not have a window but that's fine so anyway you will want to unplug everything from the back of your computer and switch the power supply switch to the off if it has a switch and most importantly, unplug the power cable. Then you'll want to let your computer sit for about a minute. That just allows all the power inside the power supply to die out completely because it does hold power. That's what they're made for. And then you're going to want to figure out how to take off your side panel. Now, I would recommend doing this before you even think about buying the Intensity Pro. This is just so you know you are able to use this card. So generally for computers, there are two screws, there's one there, I already removed them, one down there, that need to be removed before you can take off your side panel. But all cases are different, or at least a little bit different, so you're going to want to figure it out on your own. You may have latches, or you may not have any screws at all. 
and just take off the side panel. And then here's the guts of your computer. Now I'm going to lay mine on its side, and it may not be the best idea to be doing this on carpet, so once again, any damage done is not my fault. And I'm going to get my flashlight and my screwdriver really quick, sorry about that. And this is mainly the area you're going to want to look at, where the graphics card will be. As you can see, there are these ports right here and right there that cards are in. Now really, really quickly, I'm going to remove the screw for my sound card and remove my sound card. Not that big of a deal. And give me a second. Sorry about this, guys. And I will put that very stupidly on my carpet <laughs> for, lack of a better, uh, for lack of a better place to put it. Now, before you even buy this card, as I said before, you're going to want to look inside your computer and see if you have one of these ports right here. See this really long one? Now, of course, you don't need one this long. You will only need one maybe that long, as you can see there that that one is in. But this port right here is a PCI Express port. This one is PCI. Do not confuse these two. You need PCI Express to be able to use this card. Now, most cases will have a ventilated, protected spot here to protect your motherboard in case anything happens to get thrown into the back of your computer. So you're going to want to remove that before you install your Blackmagic Intensity Pro. And let me just get that screw off. Some of you lucky people might have tool systems where you don't even need screws. And once that's opened, you'll want to get your card. Uh, make it face, make the ports here face the back of your computer and line it up. I know this part's really crappy, hold on. <laughs> As you can see, it's going in right there. Let me get my flashlight just to show you because my lighting is terrible. It's partly in right there, and then what you need to do is push that in so it's all the way in. And it will take a little bit of pressure, not much, and as long as you don't force it, it should be fine. Now, mine doesn't completely line up right there with the hole in the case. That's mostly just because the card isn't made for that port, but it will work in that port. So if, you're, if you can't get a screw into there, which you will want to do to secure it down, don't worry about it. I would only screw it in if you plan on moving your case. Otherwise, just keep the card in like it is, just so it's all the way in. Because if you kind of push it forward so you can get the screw, then it kind of backs it out there in the... I don't know if you can see that very well, but it kind of backs out the card, which will cause blue screens and nothing serious, but it will just cause a <laughs> it'll, just, it'll just cause a lot of headaches. So anyway, that is all the way in for me. And as long as you don't force anything in this in your computer, you won't break anything, so you won't have to worry about that. And then normally you would want to screw that in if your case lines up with it. If it doesn't, just leave it as it is, as long as it's into the port. Then close up your computer side panel, turn on your computer, and as long as everything is installed correctly, you should be good. That's pretty much it for installing the Intensity Pro, and I'm just going to come over here to the back to show you how it looks. That's the Intensity Pro right there, and that's where you would plug in all of the HDMI cables and a breaker cable. Then when you turn on your computer, it will ask for installation uh, drivers and everything. Don't uh, don't try to look for those. You will never be able to find them. But uh, that will be explained how to. I mean, don't tell Windows to try to find the drivers because it won't be able to. Just install them yourself. Cancel out of that window. But I'll explain that in the next video, which will be part three of how to use these capture cards. So thanks for watching this, and I hope this was a little bit better than my last one. Well, that is the basics of how to use and install the Blackmagic Intensity Pro.